The video I did yesterday in regards to Kurt Franklin and Trey Songz got a lot of response from you, but I wanted to follow up today to talk about the rise of the good woman and to help young women, to do my part in helping young women feel better about themselves. Now, I want to warn you, the video that you're about to see will contain clips from that incident with Trey Songz, so you are forewarned. But here again, let's talk about the rise of the good woman. Check it out. Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Jaquetta Williams. We're bringing you a little something different today. We need to help our young women. And this book, I think, comes right on time. So this book is called Rise of the Good Woman, A 22-Day Guide to Becoming a Better You. And the yeah. author of that amazing book is with me now. Stacey Lloyd. Hey, Stacey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What are you doing, sweetheart? Thank you for being here and doing this. I love, you. I love you. So let's talk about what brought about this book, the idea behind Rise of a Good Woman. Honestly, for me, it was preparation for marriage. Um, I, yeah, I just, you know, sometimes we block our own blessings and we block what we want to actually manifest and see in our own lives. And so for me, it was preparation and I pretty much, felt like I had done everything in terms of reading other, you know, books um, and preparing, but I'm like, well, what does the word say? Because this book is is based on um, the noble good woman in the passage in Proverbs 31, verse 10 through 31, um, that talks about a good and noble woman. And so I just made it a goal. I had this ambitious goal at 38. Um, to get married within a year. And as a part of that goal, as a part of the steps to get to that goal, if you will, um, Proverbs 31 was was a part of that. And so when I read it, couldn't apply it, I just didn't understand how I could apply it today. Um, and then just ask God for clarity. And that's what he gave me and literally in the form of chapter titles. Um, and so it became what is now a 22 day version or 22 day guide to becoming a better you. So um, it all was about marriage prep for me. Not married yet, but um, I'm being obedient in my singleness and, <laughs> you know, just trying to be fruitful. How do, you, how do you help young women who, let's just say, they're not on the cusp or ready to be married per se, but they are seeking to be a better woman in general, just as they navigate their lives. Will this help them as well? And also, what kind of woman is it for? Is it for a teenager? Is it for a young adult? Is it for, old? who is it for? Well, um, to answer your first question, um, the book itself is, because it is becoming a better you, it, within the book, the first chapter is knowing your worth. There's another chapter that is called Be a Queen, where I talk about um, etiquette and manners and morals. Um, there's another chapter called Be Confident. There's another chapter called Be Excellent. So throughout the book, there's kind of like, it's almost like I'm taking you through this and guiding you through this journey. And so from the first chapter, I believe knowing your worth is key. It's so important to know who you are and whose you are, right? Because mm -hmm. um, that lays the foundation to making better decisions. Um, and so that first chapter to me alone is 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 really for anyone. Um, I'm speaking to women, but it is literally for anyone, um, and that includes the teen, the teens, all the way up to, you know, I know I know some sixty year olds are still trying to figure it out. Um, so this this book is literally for anyone who wants to self improve. Um, it is spiritually based, but it is a self help book. Um, it is to get to a better you. And again, the only way to do that is first to know your worth. Um, and the only way you're going to know your worth is the vertical. You can't do it without God. That is the foundation. And that for me, it took, I'm a pastor's kid and it took me freaking years to get it. But to know, know God is to know your worth. And then that way your horizontal relationships will work themselves out. God will bleed you and guide you. It's, it's for anyone. I love the fact that you have a section in there where, let's just say after you've read a chapter, then there's a possibility of writing notes or writing things that will apply to you and your life. Correct. So um, I, so what I do is, again, it's based on Proverbs 31. And so what I do is I break down the verse, so I do an interpretation, and then I make it applicable. 
And so after I make it applicable and say, hey, you can do this in, you know, 2020, 2021 and beyond, and here's how you can do it. But then I, there are reflective questions at the end of each chapter where you can then like d- dive a little bit deeper into, okay, well, I read how I could do it, but how can I start and begin that process into doing it? Um, and then I also have suggestions if you're like, yeah, this is an area where I need a little bit more work. Um, there are books, um, there are authors um, that have books out there. And so in the chapter, depending on what the subject matter is, I refer people to, hey, you wanna take a deeper dive? This person wrote a great book um, in reference to knowing your worth or um, being excellent. Etc. So owning your own business, there's, you know, business books in there, which is one of the chapters. So um, and then there's just there's space. So it's very much an interactive highlight tab, fold, come back to book. Um, it is meant to be worn. It is meant to, you know, keep bringing it out. Um, and so, yeah, there's there's plenty of space for you to take notes, if you will. <laughs> I saw a video of uh, the singer Trey Songs and He is performing and there are some young women on the stage who are with him and he is literally spitting in their mouths and their mouths are open for them to receive it. And I just wonder, I mean, I understand self-expression and, you know, we as women can do whatever with our bodies and our minds, but there's some kind of disconnect that's happening with our young women. How do we get them to see their worth? Yeah, and I I honestly... Um, I'll go back to the the knowing your worth and and then the confidence um, because and I saw your video which I absolutely love I have not seen his video so I will spare myself um, but it's it's we've dropped the ball Jaquetta yeah. I, I believe as women collectively okay mm-hmm. and that's no color all right um, collectively we've dropped the ball what men do to us is what we allow right. Mm-hmm. So when we raise the standard, that's the reason why this is called rise of the good woman. So it is an mm-hmm. action word. The reason why it's rise is because we all, there, there is a good woman in all of us. It's mm-hmm. time for her to rise. It is time for us collectively as bigger sisters to reach down to get, you know, and to influence the, the youth. When you have a Cardi B and a Megan Stallion influencing the youth and saying and objectifying our bodies and things like that. And they'll knock like, you know, I'm not saying I haven't bopped to any of one of their songs, right? right. But that can't be the normal, right? Um, maybe that's an exception of an every now and again. Um, you know, maybe twerking is, you know, something you do every now and again, but do we all have to see it? You know, and so when when what we see, when we when we when the narrative that we see is that, then you're gonna see the Trey songs with the girls opening their mouth. You're gonna see the girls in the bars where the where the guy pours the liquor in the mouth. You know, what we saw with Trey songs is just an extension of that. So if we make morals, etiquettes, um, uh, just kindness and goodness normal and the standard, then there is no going lower like that, Mm -hmm. you right? There is no disrespecting yourself because you know, nobody's gonna put a bottle in my mouth. Nobody's gonna dang spit in my mouth. Nobody's going to pee in my mouth because we know, Mm -hmm. okay, no. (sighs) Because I love, right? I know my worth. I love myself too much to be demeaning to myself in that regard. So I think it's, I think it's up to us to pull those young women up, to pull those women in, it, you know, up who have no confidence. And that, that doesn't have an age barrier and not be judgmental to pull them up and say, you know what? You are love. You are excellent. You are good right? You are beautiful and showing them how to love themselves and to really know their worth and pointing them to God. And to also realize that when you have and when you feel like a queen and there is a crown on your head, there is a level of standard that you have to operate, walk in, think in that just won't allow you to do certain things. And you definitely won't allow you to do and allow men or anybody else to disrespect you in that fashion. And I believe, like you mentioned, if we rise, that brings the vibration up for men to be higher as well. 
You know, we we are forcing them to be better. So if people want to get the rise of the good woman, a 22 day guide to becoming a better you, how do they do that? Well, (laughs) thanks for asking. Um, They can go on my website, which is MissStacyLloyd.com. You can also purchase merchandise there. I mean, since we're there, um, that's the only place you can get the book in ebook form, um, paperback form, which is what I recommend and merchandise there, but it's also available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. Um, Again, I recommend the paperback version because it is an interactive book. Um, What I have found, Jaquetta, is that there are equally as many men interested in this book as there are men out there that are waiting for us to rise. Come on with that word, come on. Come on, come on. They're waiting for us to rise, and some of us are already risen. They just need to come find us because we're 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 here. I mean, not that we can't constantly work every day, but when we're on the we're we're here. Thanks. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. This has been amazing. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk about your book, and hopefully, this will help men and women. Don't forget, rise of the good woman, a twenty-two day guide to becoming a better you. We'll see you next time. Bye.